This looks like the wet rice I made with the colander. No, no, this is not wet rice. A, it looks amazing. This is properly made rice just with more water. Previously, Uncle Roger bring Auntie Hersha to Chinatown. I Do you smack know. it? No, we didn't smack it. That's why you turn out like this. I think I am pansexual. That is not a cupcake. This is Chinese cupcake. Now back to part two of Weijo. We go to Chinese restaurant. So Auntie Hersha, yeah. You eat everything, right? I'm like 97.4% vegan. Hi, uh, vegan. Vegan don't know how to enjoy life. Yeah, how I... you come to Chinese restaurant be vegan? What you eat? What yeah. you eat the peanut? Because this is a cultural exchange, I'm going to use my 3% of being non vegan. Okay. So okay. go wild, Uncle Rog. Auntie Hersha giving up her morals for a YouTube video. Uncle Roger, like, morals is useless. YouTube video, very useful. Chicken feet, duck tongue, pig ear, all served cold. What you think? What you think? Just order what you'd usually get. Okay. I'm game. Challenge accepted. Oh, uh, do you have anything vegan? One thing. Vegan at dim sum, you can only get one dish. So sad. A few moments later. It look. It looks like raw plastic. No, it, it's not raw plastic. This is chicken feet. How you can call chicken feet raw plastic? It Don't doesn't think, really smell of just wang in mouth. Is there any kind of dipping sauce? Right? No dipping sauce. You eat like this. You eat dog penis, but you scare chicken feet. What is this logic? Okay, what's this one? This is duck tongue. This is also cold. Do you know duck? Awful is very fashionable. Awful? He's awful. What is awful? Well, it is awful the tongue. Like awful is all the bits of meat that people don't usually uh, want to yeah. eat. We call duck tongue, but you call awful. So hard to understand. We call it what it is, but you call awful. Nobody know what is awful. Uncle Roger put duck tongue on my tongue. Mm. It's all right. Once I've got past the fact that it's a tongue. Auntie Hersha, this is Uncle Roger's favorite dish of all time. Crispy pork, best food in the world. If you die and go to heaven, this is first meal they serve for you. Yeah, but pigs are very smart animals, so I wouldn't want that. Smart animal can still be tasty. So smart, so tasty. Mm. Oh, Auntie Hersha, that is your vegan dumpling. In Chinese restaurant, vegan food, they very condescending. They make it green to tell you this is vegan food. Look at this, let's shame this vegan over here. You make it green so the whole shop know you vegan. Well, I'm used to shame, so I'll take my shame and eat that. Yeah, no, the dumplings are really good, but I just don't feel that, that satisfied. That's why Uncle Roger got you this also. This is congee, very satisfying. Best food. Every time Uncle Roger is sick, my mum make this for me. Very nice. This looks like the wet rice I made with the colander. No, no. This is not wet rice. It's a, it looks amazing. This is properly made rice just with more water. Wet rice. They don't run this to colander. No, no, no. Don't <laughs> use the word wet. Uncle Roger hear the word wet. It's like Uncle Roger hear the word moist. Very disgusting now. Finally, he gets me. Hi, uh, she don't get me at all. In Asia, if you sick, your mum make this for you. In Western country, if you sick, your mum give you medicine and throw you out. Oh, that's nice. I can see why you'd have it when you're ill. It's just kind of like really light. Dim sum is best version of brunch. Brunch? Hey, yeah, Chinese people yeah. doing dim sum for brunch since 1845. But do they do avo on toast? <laughs> avocado? What is avocado? Oh Wait, look. God. Just give me one sec. Wait a sec. Pink got my oatmeal, and coffee. Oh, look. Everywhere I go, avocado. Don't bring avocado to Chinese restaurant. Oh my god, this is insult to Chinese culture. Chinese people, we don't eat avocado. Dumpling, better for your soul. Mm. This is fish Uncle Roger gonna eat later. Mm. Jin. What are you doing? Nothing, I was just um, asking nothing. Oh look, acupuncture. Oh, acupuncture, yeah, yeah. yeah Auntie yeah. Asha, no acupuncture. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I, I can't me imagine too. you'd like, you like it. Yeah. That's Uncle... like alternate therapy. That's like hippie world, isn't it? No, no, it's Chinese therapy. Always good Chinese therapy, always better than Western therapy. Auntie Asha, this hand-waving cat bring you good luck. 
this year you had so bad this year, so you should buy a cap. I think you should buy me a good luck cap. Fine. Uncle Roger caused Auntie Hersha a lot of pain, so... Next, Uncle Roger, go get favourite drink, bubble tea. Well, this is a very trendy place. Yes, Uncle Roger, bring Auntie Hersha to bubble tea shop. Auntie Hersha, Uncle Roger gonna get you this bubble tea. What you think? What you think? I think I want the gold one with the rose brown rose flower thing. Oh, Auntie Hersha, high roller. The dairy's probably gonna make me feel sick, but I'm gonna suffer for the art. So it just tells your fortune. Oh my god, I love it. No obstacle will stop you from being successful in love. That is correct. Uncle Roger has Auntie Jenny now. But I'm getting in the way apparently. Hi, yeah. First you ruin rice, now you ruin my love life. This is a lot of plastic. Oh, plastic is Asian people's favourite thing. Killing sea turtle is our hobby. Look how hipster this looks. It looks so cool and trendy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better than Starbucks. Starbucks? I don't do Starbucks. But you're so white, you don't do Starbucks? No! Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm a hipster. You see ball under, under your cup. They're really small, those balls. Oh, is that what you like? No, I don't like small balls. So Auntie Hersha only like big ball in mouth? Oh! I'm gonna eat some tiny balls now. Mm. Did you get the ball? I've got, I've got two balls. Two ball is perfect number of ball. It's nice. Is it better I than kombucha? No, I prefer kombucha. Um, I like the kind of burnt caramel taste, but I really d hate milk. Oh, are you one of those lactose intolerant people? I, I actually am. Oh no. I know. You will um, get diarrhea soon. I think I'm probably going to get diarrhea. All the balls coming out. If they did it with oatly oat milk, then I'd really love it. I'd have it all the time. Okay, so you're going to make oat milk bubble tea. Hi, yeah. Uh, so white, so white. So Auntie Hersha, we spent all day in Chinatown today. What you think? What you think? Um, I'm really impressed with my massive stick, cinnamon sticks. After Auntie Hersha had the ball in her drink, now she's very sexual. Hit like and subscribe to my channel and also go subscribe to Auntie Hersha channel. Hersha Patel! In next video, Auntie Hersha gonna show Uncle Roger her culture. Where are you gonna bring me? I'm gonna take you to East London where I live where you're just going to be surprised. You're going to have a great time. I'm going to show you all my favourite places. We're going to maybe do some yoga, meditation, have some avocado, maybe, I don't know, some sourdough, kombucha. Auntie Hersha are going to try to turn Uncle Roger into white people. No, 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 very sad. Niece and nephew, see you in my next video. Bye bye. See you, see you, Oh, Auntie Hersha can speak Mandarin. Oh my god. Chinese people, we drink tea because tea is good. But Auntie Hersha drink tea because, oh, it's so healthy for you. Oh my god, it's so healthy for you. Oh. Need more MSG. Did you like the second one? Yeah, because you didn't use the apology. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the fried rice lady. Yes. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Oh, it's Uncle Roger. Make it fried rice properly. Hiya. Thank you. Bye bye.